Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Welcome and thank you for joining me again today. I'm excited to have you here. Thank you for taking the time to connect and for engaging with the messages shared on this channel. God bless you abundantly. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to this beautiful community. You are in the right place. Here on this channel, we strive to build a community that is rooted in God's love and truth. A place where we can support and uplift one another as we navigate our physical and spiritual journeys. I pray that you find this place welcoming and that the messages shared here speak directly to your heart. Praise God. The message I'm about to share today is for all of us. If you're listening to me right now, this message is for you. Let us say a quick prayer before we jump into the word. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this day and for the opportunity to come together in your presence. Father, we are grateful for your endless love. And the guidance you provide us each day. Forgive us, Father, for any shortcomings and help us to open our hearts to you. To receive your message today. Help us to open our minds and our spirit to receive what you have to say today. Use me as your vessel to deliver your word clearly and powerfully. May your message transform and uplift us as we seek to follow your will. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to share a dream that I had today that carries an important message that I believe is for all of us. In this dream, there was a familiar path that many people were walking on. A path that seemed safe because it was well known and seemed like a faster route to a popular destination. But on this path, there was a gruesome scene, a gruesome scene that made it dangerous and spiritually defiled. There were footprints that were smeared with blood. I won't go into the details of that scene because of its disturbing nature. But I saw a lot of people just walking on, not seeing or recognizing the danger that was present on that path. I saw people walking on, seemingly un unbordered, unaware, undisturbed about the risk of what they were stepping into. Wow. Interestingly, in this dream, I saw someone who chose to take a longer, less convenient route to avoid stepping into this defiled path. This individual was willing to go out of their way to ensure their safety, to ensure their purity, despite the extra effort and time it required. Praise God. Through this dream, the Lord is urging us to be discerning and cautious. The Lord is urging us to be discerning and cautious. Sometimes the familiar and easy path is not the safest or best choice spiritually. We must remain vigilant and discerning, even if it means taking a longer or more difficult route to stay aligned with God's will. I feel compelled to share this because I believe many of us might find ourselves in situations where we have to choose between convenience and righteousness, between what feels familiar and what is truly safe for our souls, for our spirit, for our journey, our spiritual journey and our work with the Lord. This dream is a call for us to be aware of the spiritual dangers that, that may not be obvious at first glance and to seek God's guidance in all our decisions. Remember, God's word tells us to be sober, to be vigilant because the adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom to devour. 1 Peter 5 and 8. Let us remain spiritually alert and choose the path 
that lead to his righteousness and peace. I'm going to read one more scripture that the Holy Spirit laid on my heart for this world. Isaiah chapter 8 from verse 21. I'm going to read from the message translation. It says, when people tell you, try out the fortune tellers, consult the spiritualist, why not tap into the spirit world, get in touch with the dead, tell them no. We are going to read the scriptures. That is exactly how it puts it. Tell them no, we are going to read the scriptures. People who try these other ways get nowhere, a dead end, frustrated and famished. They try one thing after another. When nothing works out, they get angry, cursing first this God and then that one, looking this way and that way, up and down and sideways, and seeing nothing. A blank wall, an empty hole. They end up in the dark with nothing. That is the scripture. Jesus is the only way. Some path might promise quicker solutions or easier routes, but if they are not aligned with Jesus and his teachings, they lead to nothing but confusion and disappointment. The dream and the scripture both reminds us that true safety and fulfillment, true breakthrough and blessings come from following God's guidance and staying true to his word. Today, I encourage you to pray. Take some time and pray for discernment and ask God to reveal any hidden dangers or misleading path in your life. And if you feel led, please share this message with others who might need this reminder today. Let us stay vigilant and choose the ways that lead to God's righteousness and peace and avoid shortcuts that lead away from God's truth. Praise God. This is the word of the Lord for you today. I pray it's a blessing. Thank you, Father, for your word and for the vision you have given us. Thank you for reminding us of the importance of being vigilant and discerning in our spiritual walk. Father, we are grateful for your guidance and for the wisdom you provide as we navigate the path before us, as we walk this journey of life, as we run this heavenly race, Lord, we ask for your forgiveness for the times we have taken the easy path without considering the potential dangers. Father, cleanse us from any impurities and help us to see clearly the path you want us to take. Father, Grant us the courage to choose righteousness over convenience and to follow your will wholeheartedly. In the name of Jesus, I pray for discernment to recognize and avoid the spiritual pitfalls that lie ahead. Father, help us to remain vigilant and alert to your voice and guide us in every decision we make. Father, strengthen us to walk in the path that you have set before us with integrity and with faithfulness. Lord, help us. Lord, we place our trust in you. Lead us away from any danger and help us to stay aligned with your purpose. May we always seek your guidance and rely on your wisdom as we navigate the complexities of this life, of this journey, of this race in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your unfailing love and for the safe journey that you promised to those who follow your ways. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.